There he is, locked and loaded and ready to go. How you feeling, my man? You feeling good? I'm good, Big O. How's everything going? You can hear me well? Yeah, we hear you well, man. It's 31-17. Can't complain. They got the win. They got it done, uh, which is all that matters. Uh, and I got to tell you something. I was impressed with the offensive line considering the chaos that has been going on with the offensive line and all the injuries. Uh, they were they were still able to do a pretty serviceable job and get by in this game. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I saw before the game, Lee and I, Liam Eichenberg was going to take snaps, and even though Connor Williams was active, he did not play. Um, and then we saw a bunch of guys get hurt from Kendall Lamb being hurt, um, Lester Cotton coming out the game early, Robert Jones coming in the game. Then I believe Cotton came back in when Robert Hunt went out, and Rob Hunt's okay. Feels like he just probably had a hamstring. Um, and he was on the sideline as well. Uh, and when I saw Robert Hunt on the sideline, I kind of realized the Dolphins were really, really, really trying to just make it to the Chiefs game, make it to the Chiefs game, get out this game and have all these guys play and um, have, try to have, the, you know, as much as you can, um, you know, going into next week. McDaniel said something pretty quirky to me that, that kind of stuck out to me. He said this was the most distracted team or could have been the most distracted Dolphins team they have a flight to Germany tomorrow for the Chiefs game. Then the week after that, they have Hard Knocks coming in for the in-season, um, you know, show. Plus, so the, news, all of that, plus the news of Hard Knocks <clears throat> earlier in the week is a distraction. Yeah, it could be a little bit. I mean, maybe it's a distraction for us more than for them. I don't think they really well, care or not. But well, when, hold on a second. When, no, they can, no, no, when, no, when the flight to Germany happens and the cameras actually come, that's the real distraction. No, no, but what I mean is you already had players telling you, I don't like it. I don't want it. Yeah. So that already yeah. becomes a distraction in itself. When Tua is telling you I'm not a fan of it, that's a distraction already for him to even think about it right now. Sure. And it hasn't even happened yet. Yeah, it depends how much you do, you take it in and run with it as a right. as a real distraction here too. But, um, you know, obviously a good win. Uh, it was a, not, not so much an ugly win. Um, kind of felt a little Patriot boring, win. I guess, the game. Yeah, it was a Patriot. It was, it was a, a win over the Patriots. Win, bro. Yeah, it's, it was just, a win over, it, it's exactly what you expect how them to perform. I guess the Patriots. Patriots are going to play them tough. Um, they're going to play them a little close. I hope you took the points because uh, uh, they won by 14. Yeah. <laughs> I told you they were going to win by at least 11 or, or so. Um, but look, you, you, I, I like to play at the end of the fourth quarter where they got Waddle the touchdown. They were kind of feeding him, trying to force him the ball a little bit in the game. Um, and, you know, good good job by, you know, the most to kind of take the game over at the end. Excuse me, with that third 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 quarter touchdown, um, I like the fact that Cedric Wilson got a touchdown in this game. His first as Dolphins player, uh, Tyreek Hill. After he had the forty two yarder, they were still trying to feed him. I felt like there were probably two opportunities in the game. Tyreek could have had two more touchdowns, um, but still, they came out of the game okay, relatively health wise, outside of Robert Hunt, um, you know, joining the injury list. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with I, you there. I didn't even say Jalen Ramsey's name yet. Yeah, I know that was uh, that was. We'll, we'll get to we'll get to Jalen Ramsey there. Uh, but uh, you look at um, uh, Waddle that you were talking about. Uh, the one thing, man, uh, they need to put his ass in front of a jugs machine for hours of uh, every single day because my man, my man has the constant drops, and he had a hell of a game. Imagine if he hangs on to the other two balls, another yeah, 30, 40, 50 yards. Yeah, Jalen Waddle, his drops have kind of been an issue here on um, the last couple of years. Um, you know, even I don't remember if it was last year or before that, he kind of jumps and tries to catch balls when he doesn't right. really have to sometimes as well. Um, you know, Waddle's a very live player. You know what I mean? Uh, he just – he's so fast. It's hard to replicate anything that guy will see in games because he is so fast and then defense will play him differently than he's seeing in practice, Right. Um, but he does know he has to hold on to the football a lot more. Seven catches, 121 yards. Um, and I, I kind of really do like the fact that the Dolphins have kind of been force-feeding him the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, there's going to come a point where Tyree's going to miss some time, whether it's in a game or or, or injury knock on, on whatever kind of wood you have next to you there. But um, it's going to go from, you know, in the event it does go to Waddle from being Tyree Kill, you need him to be ready. And uh, the Dolphins are prepping for that. Um, and prepping to kind of force feed him and, and have him be a focal point of the offense. Had the most yards today, 121 yards. The last touchdown definitely helped him for sure. Um, and once Tyree got over 100, I was glad to see he had only probably one more catch in that game and kind of came out healthy as well. Um, 
But yeah, good good game by the offense, and you had Jeff Wilson back in the mix as well too, which is a good sign. Along yeah, with and, of scoring. And by the way, Tyreek became the first player in the Super Bowl era to have a thousand <laughs> yards in the first eight games. Who's That's his quarterback? Some guy named Tua. Oh, the, the guy that throws two yard passes, right? Right. Yeah, he can't throw. And then he goes, passes. and then he goes all the way far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was just making it. sure. I was just making sure because that that 42-yard pass had probably about 50 yards, air yards. Yeah. Uh, no, no, noodle noodle arm can't do those kind of things. Sorry. No, yeah. not at all. Not at all. I, that, I have that, no idea. That, that actually was <clears throat> a, uh, a hologram that you saw. It really wasn't <clears throat> too. That's that makes a lot of sense because yeah. I, don't, I know Patrick Mahomes could have did that. But, oh, wait. He didn't do that with Patrick Mahomes there. He didn't have 1,000 no. yards in eight games, right? Oh, no. No. Okay. So, so I'm looking at all these papers here. Yeah. I guess Tua is a great quarterback. Yeah, and by the way, not only a thousand yards, and uh, but also uh, Tyreek when he was in Kansas City didn't have like another receiver on the other side named Waddle. Now yeah. again, he does have Kelsey, so that kind of offsets it, you know, in a way. So <laughs> we do have to, we do have to kind of include Kelsey in there because <clears throat> Miami doesn't have anything near Kelsey. That's for damn sure. Yes, they do. They do not. They do not. But look. Um, Tyreek Hill is a uh, he's a Hall of Famer. Um, he's a future Hall of Famer. Uh, we will never see a player like Tyreek Hill caliber maybe ever again. Who knows? Um, the way he has taken over this game with it, at his size and his speed is something that we've never seen before at the NFL level. And um, that's why he's so unique. He is really a unicorn on the football field. Um, and you can see why the Dolphins ran and got him when he uh, was looking for a new deal and and the Chiefs weren't willing to pay him, yeah. and that's 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 true. That's true. Rosenhaus having a great relationship with the Dolphins because he lives La down here as well. The last wide receiver that was a freak in a Dolphins uniform, his name is Mark Clayton. Yeah, that was a long time ago, right? That was a long time ago. Now Mark doesn't have the speed that Tyreek has. He was fast, but he didn't have Tyreek speed. But what Mark did in the air, that's where he takes Tyreek. That was that was the thing that Mark made him that he was such a freak when when Mark was in his heyday, and playing. I think only Jerry Rice was better. That's it. No mm -hmm. one else in the league was better than Mark Clayton outside of Jerry Rice when when Clayton was doing his thing. And for me, watching Tyreek, the only other guy that I remember freakish at that position. There have been some really good ones here. It would have to be it would have to be Mark Clayton. You know. Yeah, that, yeah. that would definitely have to be the guy. Uh, talk to me about the injuries. What do we know about Robert Hunt? Um, for me, it looked like Robert Hunt had a hamstring injury. Um, he walked off the field on his own, which was great, because um, you thought it was something a little bit more serious when you first saw it. And Robert Hunt kind of walked his way to the locker room, and he was standing on the sideline for most of the game. Um, I think, you know, I know Rob Hunt. I know, I know Rob Hunt well enough, but not as well as some other people for sure. Um, but in my experience getting to know Rob Hunt in the last couple of years, I think if, if he could have went back in that game, he probably would have. Um, so that's probably a good plus on that. The thing is, you got to worry about this flight to Germany on Monday. Um, you know, guys are going to be, you know, not everybody's going to have business class, I'm thinking, right? right? Unless it's some kind of different plane that they're in. But um, Are they uh, going in two planes? One that's just going to be therapy plane and then the other uh, one for <laughs> everyone else that isn't uh, uh, the therapy? Jesus. Yeah, right. I have no idea. Um, I could, I could definitely see that being a two-plane trip, but everybody, you, know, you kind of want everybody together, too. Um, but I, I have no idea outside of their travel plans that they're leaving on Monday. Um, but, but yeah, you're, you're worried about them traveling and getting over there and just rehabbing as soon as they can. Um, you don't know how much rehab they'll be able to do after the game tonight and tomorrow morning before, you know, these people have to go home, pack, get ready. Some people are, are traveling with family as well, too, I imagine. Um, you know, so the Germany game is going to come with distractions in itself. You're going to a new city, new, new country, a whole other part of the world. Um, you know, Dolphins played in London last year, so they have that going for them in some kind of experience standpoint, how to play these games. Um, and I would also say the teams leaving on Monday this year when they've gone to the London games have done better. The Ravens have won. Um, the Jaguars won both games back to back and they stayed one of those games in London. The Bills left on a Thursday or fr Friday, I think. Horrible for them. Didn't play well against the Jaguars. Um, and I believe some other teams, I think the Titans left late when they played the Ravens and lost. So um, I don't know when the Chiefs are leaving. Uh, they're playing right now against the Broncos in a freezing cold game, and Mahomes has the flu. 
So look at what the Chiefs are kind of going up against before this flight, um, you know, to Germany. So uh, we'll see. Plenty, plenty to see there. Um, some of the guys that got injured in the game, some of them also returned, like Kendall <clears throat> Lamb. Uh, what do we know about Kendall Lamb? How do? How, what about David Long? Um, yeah. Brandon Jones. Also, I okay. saw him walk into the locker room. What, what, what mm -hmm. do we know about those guys? So Kendall Lamb walked out of the locker room on his own before the second half started. Um, and I believe he played the rest of the game. Wasn't keeping yep. a close eye on that. Yes, um, he did. Da David Long got kicked. Jalen Ramsey kind of kicked him. You saw that? Um, yes. Two yes. leg whips, bro. That could have been ugly. Um, I, it probably was too bang bang. Ramsey's so athletic that he's kind of, he's Still, not like. It could be freakish, yeah. bro. Both guys could have messed up their legs on that on that leg. Yeah. Whip. Really Ramsey's, Ramsey's freakish, but he's not clumsy, if you know what I mean. Right. I got you. Um, so I feel like he probably had a little bit more control of his body. I think if Long wasn't there, maybe something would happen. Maybe Long saved him, but he didn't save himself. I don't know where David Long got hurt, um, but I hope he's doing okay. Um, and I think he came back into the game, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes, okay. he did. Yes, yeah. he did. So he might Brandon have had Jones a, did not. Brandon Jones Brandon did Jones, not. Because... Yeah, it was too late in the game already. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Juju, I don't know what happened there. The guy took a hit on, on Juju, and a lot of the players took exceptions to that. Um, one player got in Ramsey's face. They got pulled away. Um, some other players got into, um, you know, some arguments there at the end of the game. Man, even at the end of the game, man, like the linemen are still going back and forth. Those Dolphins are needing it out. Uh, Bill Belichick, Mike McDaniel had a really quick hello. And then uh, Steve Ross and, Mike, and uh, Tom Garfinkel were waiting for Mike McDaniel to say, uh, you know, good, good game to him after that. I'm pretty sure this video of Steve Ross doing the waddle again. Uh, we got to check that out. I have to check that out after the game. Uh, but I, I have to talk to you about Ramsey, Diggo. I have to talk to you about Ramsey. Let's go. Um, you know, I've covered this guy since Florida State. When this kid puts his mind towards anything, he kind of always comes through, and it always kind of does come through for him. Um, December, they heard December, and Ramsey was not having it. He just did not want to come back all the way in December. He wanted to come back a month earlier. Um, so he came back probably around six weeks maybe or so. This October, today is October 29th, so we're talking about three months and two or three days since he first got hurt in that training camp practice um, in late July. Um, just incredible, incredible recovery. Ramsey doesn't know what the hell he did. Um, the doctors, he, he was saying the doctors need to do, they need to do the case study the Dolphins doctor do. Um, you know, doc, the Dolphins team doctor, John Arriba, had the, had the surgery, and then the training staff just took over from there. Um, three months from a full torn meniscus. Ramsey did confirm he, he had it fully torn and not a trim or anything like that, so he had a full repair. Um, but three months to return from that is, is pretty unheard of. Um, I think one of the FSU players I covered had a meniscus trim, and even that almost took a couple months, like three months. He's got a full tear and came back three months. It's incredible. Um, he feels like he should have scored on the interception. I feel like he should have scored on the interception as well, too. Um, but for him to cut one way and cut back the other way, find the ball, intercept it, run 49 yards, you know, before taking a hit out of bounds, um, just incredible to see where his body is. Um, he played. He admitted he played a little bit more than they wanted him to play today. Um, but that is just so much more encouraging. You have him back before the Chiefs game. Um, so, you know, whether you put him on Ramsey, uh, excuse me, whether you put him on Travis Kelsey or you have him stay on the outside and you figure out who, who's going to defend uh, Kelsey on the outside, on the inside. Um, that's probably the biggest Dolphins conundrum that they have to figure out in the next week or so. Because Kelsey's probably going to have a field day with them in Germany. Yeah, yeah. Most, tight, mean, most tight ends do, but he's the tight end of the highest order. Uh, unless you want to put, you know, uh, Kohu on him. At least Kohu's physical. But Kohu's no, very handsy. Lord, no. And he'll and he'll make some mistakes. You probably he's also, yeah. he's also significantly smaller. Yeah, no, I know that. But you know, <laughs> he was significantly smaller than Mark Andrews last year too, and he made one hell of a play on Mark Andrews up <clears throat> up high in the air. He yeah. made a, a play on Andrews, which was pretty cool. He is very athletic, dude. Uh, Kohu is super athletic. Yeah, That's definitely. One thing that I do like about him, and he is, I mean. If Ramsey plays outside, it will be Kohu in the slot. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm expecting yeah. X to play next week. I, I think, like, I think you hit it that they're saving some of these guys for for Kansas City it, it, because this is the kind of game 
Uh, this is what the Patriots have become. They're the kind of team that you can beat when you're not 100% because they're not that good. How the tide has turned, right? How the tide has turned for 20-something yeah. years, knowing Lynn has owned this whole division, and now they're back at the bottom again, man. It's, right. The Dolphins were – the thing about the Dolphins is they knew this time was coming for the Patriots. They just not did not see the Bills passing them. All right, so this week against the Chiefs, you got a, you got a game that everybody's going to wonder if you can beat the big team, the big-time team again. Um, and the Chiefs are playing really physical. I'm, you know, this is before seeing them in the uh, Denver game right now. I think they're trailing right now. Denver's up. Um, but yeah, fourteen um, to three right now. Fourteen okay, to three. So but, the, but the Chiefs the have the ball uh, inside the twenty of uh, of Denver. So we'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I'm watching it right now too. Um, look, Denver's played really physical. I mean, excuse me, Kansas City's played really physically um, this season. The defense is probably a little bit better than it has been in, in, in recent years. Um, obviously they got the, you know, Jones, who's the, uh, Chandler Jones, right? Mm. No, 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 not Chandler Jones. Who's the, uh, who's the D lineman that they signed? Who? The Chiefs. Um, that, that held out the D lineman. Oh, for the Chiefs um, um, damn it. Um, yeah. Who's the D lineman for the Chris Chiefs? Jones. Chris, Jones. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Jones is back. He's playing better. I'm looking at Ferron as he's ready to come on when, uh, when you guys are ready for him too. Oh yeah. Tell, tell him um, he's ready. All right. Yeah. For, yeah. Bobo, well, they're ready for you, bro. He's grabbing chips and stuff, bro. <laughs> you get some um, yeah, look, the, uh, the the Chiefs are playing really good defensively, so it'll be a, a, a little bit of a challenge for Tua. Um, I want to see how they kind of respond to the Germany atmosphere and, and playing in the primetime big game like that. We've done it before, but um, look, Tua, if you guys want to go back and watch some film, Tua had a really great game against the Chiefs his first, what was that, the first or second year? Second year, probably. I think this it was, when Tyreek was Yeah, Tyreek was yeah. still in Kansas City, yeah, but... Um, Man, Tua was cooking in that game. Jakeem Grant probably dropped some passes in that one, uh, which we know he was usually doing plenty of. He never and, does that. Don't do that yeah. to Jakeem. He never drops any passes. Yeah, he's, right. He's, and then he's um, got the best hands in the world. And the freaking the Dolphins had like a pun return go back or something like that. They had a bad special teams play, but Tua was cooking in that game. So I really want to see him play against the Chiefs this year. Should be fun. All right. Follow him on Twitter at Safford underscore Dean and catch his work there at USA Today and catch him doing his thing three times a week here with our BaptistHealth.net slash ortho. My Emmett Dolphins report. Safford, we will talk on Tuesday, my friend. Thank you. How, how's it going, Big O? Thank you. Thank you, sir. There you go. And of course, when we talk about Baptist Health, we love talking about Baptist Health because the Alzagari family is constantly using uh, Baptist Health. And when you talk about Baptist Health, you don't need to be a professional athlete to go where the pros go, the doctors, at baptisthealth.net slash orthopedic, ortho, that is. Uh, they can see you now. Visit baptisthealth.net slash ortho to request an appointment and get yourself back in the game. This is the Big O Show! This is the Big O Show!